Hey everybody, here we are in Microsoft Access and we are looking at reports and specifically grouping in reports. So what does it actually mean? We did touch on it very briefly in one of my grade 11 videos, but let's have a look at what it means here in level three, grade 12. So here you can see I have my database of my Tuit sales company and I've got my areas. Okay, these are just areas, so various towns and cities and stuff. And here are my consultants. These are all the consultants that work for my company. I own and run the Tuit sales company. Now, let's see what I got here. Okay, I've got quite a few things here. I've got remote workers, yes or no, sales area, how much money each salesperson made me. Yes, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be rich. No, I'm not gonna be rich. Uh, I'm a teacher. Okay, moving on. So here we have suburbs, the addresses when they started. Okay, so let's see if we created just a basic report. Do you remember we went to uh, create, we went to report wizard, we then chose, you know what, I'm going to go from my consultants table. You can then select your names and details and uh, I don't know what else, um, address, suburb, I don't know, just stuff like that. Next, 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 next and finish and then you'd have a basic report. So that was just a very quick uh, We've done this. This is a basic report just generated using the report wizard. Click, 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 and we're done. Okay, so let's see if you remember what is a report. A report is just a printed version of a table or a query or some criteria that we want to show uh, to print out. Okay, if you were going to print it out. Okay, I mean, you could print it as a PDF as well. Save paper, y'all. Now, where were we? Okay, so there we go. There's my report. Great. Now, what if I wanted a few more options available like grouping? And you're thinking like, what is grouping? Let me tell you. Here we go. So I'm gonna just close my table. Don't actually need it while we're creating things. So create, and I'm gonna go to report wizard. There it is over there. And I'm gonna choose the, not the table areas, table consultants. So let's do first name, last name, and we'll do a suburb. There we go. And we'll do their email address as well. And maybe their phone. Yeah, there we go. So we've got first name, last name, suburb, email address, and phone. So I want to look at the contact details of my consultants. But this time, I want to do some grouping. So I've clicked on the next step. And here I am at my next step of my report wizard. And the report wizard says, do you want to add any grouping levels? And this time we do, because I'm saying that we do. So we have uh, first name, last name, suburb, and phone. And we're going to group it according to suburb. So I'm gonna click on next, not next, sorry, the little arrow pointing to the right there. And now you see my little preview has changed. I've got suburb as like this heading at the top or a header, and I've got the details underneath it. Now let's see, what is this going to do? Well, it's gonna group everything according to suburbs. So it'll look at the first suburb, and then it'll find everybody in that suburb put them together then look at the next one and do the same thing so let's go here we don't have to worry about sorting unless we're told in an exam for example to sort it according to something I normally just go with Microsoft Access default suggestion in terms of how it's laid out I found that when you start messing with the layout it starts getting very messy and complicated so I just say you're the boss I'm gonna follow you great next and you know what let's call this one suburbs because we grouped it according to suburbs and we're going to preview the report all right let's click on finish and see what it does okay check it out guys so here you can see we've got suburbs as our header there it is there in the details section as well we've got banbury and we've got two people in banbury i don't even know where banbury is Bessonia, I think that's down south, y'all. Yes, it is. Down south, we have these three people in Bessonia. Here are some people in Bedford View, Blowboss Rand. You can see, so it's taken every suburb and it's gone and put the consultants that are in each suburb in their relevant space. And that's pretty cool. And that's basically what grouping does. So let's have a look at the uh, layout here, the report wizard, sorry, Port wizard the design design view it's kind of what I was trying to get to design view have a look at the design view guys here we have our report header there we have our page header now we have a suburb header 
So we have a suburb header because we grouped according to suburb. So we have a suburb header because it's a header at the top of each group. It's the suburb, then everybody in that group, then the suburb, then everybody in that group. And there you can see we have page headers, report headers, page headers, suburb headers, and that is how we use grouping. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we add a footer to this and perform some calculations in that footer per group.